It has been a while since I uploaded a Turtle Craft SMP video. I made a total of three videos in the series, and then I stopped. The reason behind this? Let me explain. I was partway through recording and editing Turtle Craft episode 4, but as I logged on the next day, the files were corrupted. I felt extremely discouraged. Around two months later, I received this message from Feltz. Well, that's suspicious. I guess we'll just load onto the server. Okay, where are we? Are we? Yeah, we're... we're in a mineshaft. Alright, not exactly what I was expecting. I guess not really what you guys were expecting either, either, because this would have been like part way through a video. Oh, he's not on the server. That's actually not what I expected. Oh, I was about to say, our gear is like pitiful. We literally just have some gold armor, and we have enough iron to make iron armor, but having diamond stuff is certainly going to be useful. That is such a good vein for literally being in a lush cave at Y-11. I'm assuming this one's just going to be one vein. It's not, actually. It's a two vein. I'm not complaining. 15 diamonds. Usually I'd go for a diamond pickaxe first, but seeing as we're probably about to get trapped, I'm gonna go for a diamond sword, a diamond chest plate, and then we could go for a diamond helmet, but I think it might actually be a better idea to get a diamond pickaxe and then be able to enchant our stuff a little bit. We'll just keep it for now. We can also make a bed with the amount of string that we have. Let's get some iron leggings and iron boots. Also a helmet. Armor could be better, but you know, it's fine. We don't really have a sustainable food source. I mean, we have two golden apples, which in the heat of battle could be pretty useful. But besides that, we're actually like not doing great on food. Oh, he just messaged me. He's asked me to join a VC. Hello? Hello. I got your ominous messages. Are you gonna, are you gonna trap me? Now you may be wondering why I'm so convinced that he's gonna trap me. I've been in a fair share of realms with him, and for the most part, he tries to take over the world. So are you gonna, are you gonna trap me? Uh, no, I will not trap you. Okay. We'll have to delay our meeting for now. Get ready. Um, okay, I guess we'll meet up in a little bit. So that was a pretty ominous message. I guess he's given me some time to prepare. It sounds weird to say, but I feel like this is actually going to end up being really fun. I was thinking just for funsies, we could gear up a little bit more in the cave, but I think the best choice for us would be to head all the way back to spawn because we're pretty far out right now. I mean, a thousand blocks isn't that bad, but I have no idea how much time he's giving me. Ah, let's check out my base. I want to see what's going on over there. Um, nothing. My completely done base is there. Um, I- Oh, this is not here before. I do remember him making himself at home last time. What would happen if we mine this cobblestone? Wait, there's probably lava. Hold on, I'm gonna step to the side. What is going on here? A staircase? This goes, yep, back to the secret base that I assumed was his. Actually, it might not be, yep. Yeah, so this is... I don't know, man. That's a creeper. Excuse me, good sir. But yeah, maybe I should just, like, go ahead and try to get my stuff back. Ha! Ah! Hey there, buddy. Yay! Hold on. Oh, that's a brown panda. I mean, they're not as rare as I used to think they were, but like, it's just always a fun encounter. Look at him go. He's so majestic. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting distracted again. The next little while was spent riding across the ocean until, and we, we've hit land. Okay, now that we're at a boring desert, which, which, it does actually look very familiar. There's the savannah over there. There should be just like some oak trees over there. Hello, blacksmith. I'm going to take whatever you have, which is an iron sword. Two iron helmets, some bread, gold, and a creeper behind me. Not really behind me, but like besides me, past the wall. Also tons of food. <gasps> it's a camel. My friend, look at him. Oh my gosh, you don't have a saddle. I'm going to the desert temple. Actually, first, I think I'm going to reset my health. That's not a strategy that I normally use, if you even call it a strategy. But oh, I see. I did explore Jungle Temple. I just don't remember there being a village next to it. Who looted this, man? It actually turned out to be felt. All right, farewell. Are there any leather workers' houses that we can check for saddles? I was about to say it must be hard being a fisherman out in the desert, but like you guys have a giant lake right here. Is this person collect cactus? 
Cacti? Hello? I will ride this camel if it's the last thing I do. I never did ride the camel. Alright, I took a break. It's the next day. I logged onto the server and... Belts online. Hey! You there? Yeah, I'm there. Uh, well, my proposition that I have for you is actually a pretty simple one. I wanna know if you were to form an alliance with me. Oh, an al alliance? Really? Yes. So I'm gonna be completely honest, I thought you were gonna murder me. Uh, yeah, I, I get that a lot. I, I might still do that. Okay. Well, okay, if you don't accept my alliance, then we'd be enemies. Well, not exactly enemies, but we wouldn't be on good terms, so. You know, I'd probably end up killing you, but, you know, since if you accept it, then I think it would be very beneficial for the both of us. But yes, yeah, so would you be interested in joining my alliance? This was when I first faced the dilemma of what to say. You see, Felt was asking if I wanted to join his duo, but I was already in a group, the Dapper Duo. However, the other main member of the Dapper Duo, Corgi Power, hasn't been online since that first video. So in order to make the decision, I asked him what made his team better than the one I was already on. What's my end of the deal? I will get you fully stacked up. These coordinates I sent you aren't just to some random base there to a village that i have already wow. took the time of making into a villager trading hub oh he has a trading hall i mean it's so overpowered i have to say yes right um i don't know i didn't want to be too quick to say yes so i continue to ask questions like What's- what's the twist? I'm just gonna add, there was like a build-up to that question, I wasn't just like, WHAT'S THE TWIST?! There is a slight twist. What's the catch? Well, the catch is, just don't- I don't know. Don't make any villagers have really bad trades. I of course know what he means. He's requesting me not to, I don't know, lock in Bane of Arthur Pods 1 on a villager meant for mending. However, there is one flaw with this. If we were to put this deal on a contract, that's an opinion. Opinions vary. Maybe Bane of Arthropods 1 is my favorite enchantment, and I really want a Bane of Arthropods 1 villager. I don't, but what if I did? On a previous Minecraft SMP, that was before this YouTube channel, Felt had a villager trading hall, and we came up with a whole contract that gave me limited access to it. But, and then again, he's not asking for a contract, he's asking for a team. Although I was already on a team, after some more questioning. The main catch is just mostly you have to help. This isn't a free thing. You have to, you don't have to work for all your emeralds, but it's not like you're gonna just, I'm yeah. gonna be the only one doing the villagers, because. One of the things I'm worried about is if, say, the server breaks into a humongous war, and let's say it's about, I don't know, I'm trying to think of an example. I can't think of anything. Let's say it's like, you know, there's two teams, and I agree with one team, and you agree with the other team. Obviously, it's not anything, like, crazy serious, but I was guessing that if any war like that broke out, you would, by- I would, by definition, have to side with you. Is that how it's going? Hopefully. Like, under contract, or is that just- I hope to make it so that I wouldn't have to force you to be on my side. But- that makes any sense. I want us to be a good duo who works well together and doesn't really, you know, fight. Let's just say the war is- we're on two opposing teams. Would I, by contract, have to be on your team, or would that just be like- Honestly, or, it would depend no. on how I'm feeling. If it's something, like, stupid, and your team is something that I don't really see as a threat, then sure, just stay on that team. We'll probably be a duo after the war's over. So the problem with Felts, if I see it as a threat, is that that is once again an opinion. So really, when you think about it, because that's an opinion, therefore you can't assume that he won't see something as a threat, because if you don't think he will, and then he does, then I'd be stuck. But as he said, if I, I would apply. completely cut off your villager access. But that basically just means if there ever ends up being a conflict that I want to be on a different side of, and if he sees it as a threat, then I am just cut off of my supply of villagers. But if we were on opposing teams, I wouldn't be able to use the trading hall anyways. So, I just decided to say, well, I guess we have a deal. The one problem is, if, say, we build, like, a co-op base that we share chests in, that wouldn't work, because if the team ends, when a war starts, who gets the stuff? So, we're gonna have separate houses within the same base, and our chests holding our stuff are gonna be separate. Now it's time to head over to the village.
Just kidding. I'm not going to do a montage. You've heard that song a million times. I'm just going to cut. as a clapping transition. Fell? I think this is a different village because that's about 200 blocks away. I was just kind of coming over here on like an estimate of the coordinates, I guess. Oh, that's a village. I'm assuming that that's the one. Hold on. I'm just going to... Hello? Oh, but what about the Dapper Duo? I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out if a conflict or a war or something happens. I don't know what team I'll be on. We'll just, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. In the next episode, we are going to be finishing the trading hall, getting Max Diamond, that kind of stuff. Um, here's a little blooper of when I did that very cringy clap transition. So, yeah. Bye! But for some reason, whenever I clapped, it sounds like it was like a million miles away. But that's like right against my mic. But if I did it right here, like... That's still so quiet, right?